today I'm reviewing the Dermatology Needleless Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so today's Beanie Baby is for Danielle, and this is super cute, isn't it? It's got a little, a little blankie. You know, I still have my blankie. Thing's old, but it's still in one piece, so... Maybe we should edit that part out. I don't know. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, so this is something I've been meaning to review for quite some time. And I pulled it out again because I was recently out of my favorite serum and decided to try and test this one out again. So got a lot of thoughts on this one. It's got a lot of ingredients and there's a very expensive dupe for it. So this one is the affordable dupe. So, okay. So they say in a world of injectable fillers and toxins... We set out to create a more natural topical approach. Needleless Serum is a twice a day serum that safely targets the appearance of fine lines around the mouth, eyes, and forehead while also hydrating the skin to give it a radiant glow. Our clinically proven formula repairs signs of aging by strengthening skin's moisture barrier while improving the look of skin fullness, poor appearance, and skin elasticity. Now formula with our proprietary Serapep technology, which means they just took some sept some ceramides and peptides and patented the name of it. It's a revolutionary blend of restore of peptides and ceramides. There is an identical dupe, a 100% identical dupe for this, that is $245, and that is the Laura Devgen Hyaluronic Serum, which costs $245. Identical. So, FYI, just another reminder, if you're buying the Laura Devgen brand from Sephora, save your money. I don't know why Sephora keeps bringing these brands out that are just white label products that are four times the cost, but I have a feeling it has more to do with Sephora than Laura Devgan MD. Just my two cents on it, so. Okay. And I know some of you guys have been asking to do a live stream, so I did one with Patreon a few days ago, so I'll try and do another full live stream, but uh, the Patreons and I have been discussing some really fun stuff. So I know Matt asked about a live stream. I'll be doing one soon so okay just want to mention that okay so packaging for this one dropper bottle nothing too exciting i do like that the dropper bottle is opaque that's about it the vault the this is a very liquidy serum which i don't know i guess dropper bottle is probably the easiest way but it's almost like water so there you go sometimes it's easier to put the dropper up to your skin and then dispense it that way um, okay in terms of denature drying types of alcohol this does not contain any of those it's also fragrance and essential oil free and has no noticeable scent. This one's made in the U.S., so no issues with that. So uh, ease of use, so they recommend applying four to five drops uh, onto fingers and smooth onto your face. Avoid getting too close to your eyes. Uh, allow to absorb before applying other products. So I recommend applying this one immediately after cleansing or if you use a toner, immediately after that and before almost everything else in your team because it is so watery. Um, but it does absorb very quickly, which is nice. A little bit goes a very long way. This plays well with all every other product I've tried it with, um, so no issues with that. If you have dry skin, you're probably going to want to use a good thick moisturizer over this or even another hydrating serum, potentially, depending on how dry your skin is. If you have oily skin, it's probably not as big of an issue, but if you have dry skin, you're certainly going to apply other products in addition to this because... It's very watery. It does feel moisturizing, but it's just not hydrating enough to really use on its own. But I love the texture because it makes it great for all skin types to use. And no issues with pilling. Doesn't feel greasy or oily at all or sticky. It's very nice. So, okay. Let's start with the antioxidant list. We've got a long list of some ingredients that are really kind of newer and upper coming ingredients. So, so right off the bat, we've got sodium chondroitin sulfate, which is a skin identical ingredient, humective and relative of hyaluronic acid, which has a smaller molecular si size than hyaluronic acid, but still doesn't necessarily absorb all the way into skin, but does create kind of a watery film over skin. Then we've got sodium hyaluronate, which has to be in every single product I review. It does. It has to be. Humectin. It's in everything. Pea extract, which is a skin protecting and skin and conditioning ingredient. We've got bamboo extract, nice hydrating ingredient. Uh, let's get to some of the exciting ones. We've got pal palmitoyl tripeptide 1, which is a well-known peptide that's uh, 
half of the Matrixol 3000, which is the most sold and apparently one of the most known peptides in the world. Uh, it's a three amino acid peptide of glycine, histidine, and lysine, which is then attached to palmitic acid to increase uh, skin penetration. Um, it's believed to stimulate collagen production in skin and more collagen means fewer wrinkles and more young looking skin. A lot of the research is done on the manufacturers of it, so keep that in mind. Um, then we've got the other part of the Matrixol 3000, which is the palmitoyl tripeptide 7, which um, works with the pep tripeptide 1 by reducing the production of the single molecule interleukin 6, which that molecule promotes inflammation in skin. And if you're trying to get rid of inflammation, your skin will feel younger, look younger, and degrade slower. Um, it's interesting when I was looking at more information, I could do a whole video on this interleukin-6, but it's interesting that some evidence shows that it can be an inflammatory marker for severe, the thing, infections, especially ones with poor prognosis. I can't say the name, but the thing going around. So it's interesting that this little thing that's associated with Skin care can also be a marker for maybe diagnosing some issues. So, okay, then we've got several different ceramides. Uh, they're building blocks in the upper layer of skin, helps maintain a healthy skin barrier. So if you have dehydrated skin, a lot of times your skin will be lacking in the ceramides, which are the building blocks of your skin. So applying something rich in ceramides can really help with that. We've got glucosamine, which is a skin repairing ingredient. Then we've got glycosaminoglycans. Glycosaminoglycans, that sounded better. Okay, skin soothing and skin restoring ingredient, also something I have to pronounce twice to get it right. Then we've got palmitoyl tripeptide 5, which is a uh, three amino acid chains that's claimed to boost, protect and boost collagen and improve skin texture. Cholesterol, skin identical ingredient, also plays a vital role in the healthy skin barrier along with ceramides and fatty acids. Got niacinamide, skin brightening, antioxidant, anti acne, skin repairing ingredient, methyl glucoside phosphate, newer anti aging ingredient that's helped with skin firmness and elasticity. Not a lot of independent research on it, it's pretty new. Most of the research on it is done by the manufacturers, so you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt because typically they're trying to prove that their thing that they made was good, but sometimes it ends up being great. So we've got copper lysinate prolinate, which is uh used with that methyl glucoside phosphate to uh, help produce collagen and elastin in skin. Then finally, we've got panthenol for soothing skin and vitamin E, good for antioxidant hydrating skin. So a very long list, and it's impressive that they were able to put all those good ingredients in this watery liquid. So, I mean, and it really does. I mean, I think my hand looks much better just after I applied that. So I have a feeling a lot of those peptides do work and are don't know if it's necessarily a substitute for Botox and what that can do, but you know what? It's cheaper than Botox, so it might be worth a try. Okay, in terms of animal testing, this brand is cruelty-free, so no issues with that. So performance, not super hydrating. I don't necessarily know if they should even call this a serum. It's more of like a, a water or maybe like a watery lotion texture, but um, it's full of ingredients that have looked like have promised or have been shown to help with skin firmness, help repair the skin barrier, and help with collagen production. Uh, I do see firming after using this. My skin does look firmer after using it daily, or you can even use it twice a day. It's really easy to fit into any routine, so that's a major bonus. I mean, use it right after toning. It's not like you have to replace some part of your routine. I mean, you can, you really just add this in. You don't really have to take anything out if you don't want to, so... Um, and then the other nice thing is very friendly for acne prone skin. We've only got two ingredients of note, uh, carbamer and butylene glycol. So, um, okay, so into the price. So this is the full size, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters and retails for $69. When you compare it to the $245 dupe, that looks really affordable. It's still a little pricey, but if you figure one of these, uh, one of these pipettes, you'll use about four to five drops, maybe about four. I can usually get away with three to four um, a day. Or if you're using it twice a day, I'll use six or seven drops. 
So I figure that's about 0.3 milliliters. And that covers the entire face, so a little goes a long way. So based on that, a bottle should last the average person two to three months, which is a pretty decent amount of time. And if you're looking at it at $70, divide that by three months, it looks more affordable then. Um, and then the dermatology brand frequently has sales. Uh, generally, 20% off is pretty common, so it's even more affordable. And if you're somebody that uses the Laura Devgan, you can probably cut from 245 to 69. Okay, then we get to the it factor. Really like this one. Uh, great for all skin types, dry, oily, normal, acne prone, pretty much safe for every skin type except for those with fungal acne. A little goes a long way. Uh, fragrance free, alcohol free, really full of good ingredients. Definitely not a replacement for Botox if you do Botox, but it's nice to get some skin firming and kind of skin repairing product so um let's see with a 10 being a perfect score i give this one a 10 so there we go and a dupe for a 245 dollar product which is ridiculous but anyway so those are my thoughts on the needleless serum i'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out yet or not and if you have what your thoughts are so i'll uh, leave a comment i love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much